Hi guys. Um, so, last video was a, a long, long ramble, and uh, now I'm going to actually clean my kitchen. Uh, I got Pandora is going. Oh, let's see, let's see. Listening to uh, Bob Marley. Sweet songs. Memories pure and true. This is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. Um, I've also created a list of what I want to get done. So I'm thinking that how I'm going to do my day is come up with every single day I have to do something in my kitchen and I have to do something in my garden. And so the important list is uh, kitchen and garden. And then um, kitchen is going to be my focus today. If I get hyper-focused and do more cleaning in the kitchen, that's fine. I'll let myself do that. On the garden day, out in the garden, I hyper-focus and I do more stuff out in the garden and I don't come in and do things in the kitchen. It, it'll be okay. I mean, as long as I at least do my dishes. So, like, I don't know. I guess we'll have... I have to come up with a minimum of what is considered okay I touched my kitchen and okay I touched my garden so I'll have to figure that out um but that's not for today today's goal is to uh my three points that I want to get done in my kitchen is get my kitchen sink clean which means with soap and everything cleaned it out um load and run the dishwasher uh all the silverware and whatever whatever I can fit into it for a, for a run. Um, dishwasher takes about two hours to, to run a full load. So that, that may affect uh, things a little bit, but it's like, I load it, I put water into the, into the reservoir in the bottom and then I can walk away from it. Like it, it won't damage anything by walking away from it. It's like a, normal dishwasher sort of that way um, and then the other thing I want to do is clear the area between the sink and the end of the stove I'll show you guys all this stuff um, in just a second and show you I guess basically the before and then you guys can uh, follow along as I do this uh, let's see uh, dad called at about 1.30 or so one thirty, dad call. I took my Adderall, but um, I don't always have the ability to remember what I did things. So this, this, like you can write down the date. You can write down um, important lists. So like the, this is where I'm going to write down the the things I have to do during the day. And then the to-do list will be the main main points that I want to get done in that. But over here, there's like a... It's not really in focus. But it's times by hour. Starting at 5 o'clock in the morning and going until 1 o'clock in the morning. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do. Um, as I go and I get extra things done... I will make sure to write them down on the to-do list, maybe start at the bottom and write them upwards so that I can see what all I got done on that day. And then on the time, I'll just kind of mark down like what time I took a break or what time I uh, I finally got started. Um, let's see. So let's see, about 2 to 2.30 is I filmed that other video, the film, ah, ew, am. and then, uh, so now it's 2.30, I'll put start kitchen, okay, uh, chin, okay, so then, uh, there's a Pomodoro way of doing it. You set a timer and you see how much you can get done in that time. Uh, that might be useful. I mean, we're already five minutes into this explaining how I'm going to clean my kitchen. So uh, I guess the first thing that I will do is I will flip the camera around and I will show you guys uh, 
what everything looks like and then we'll set the timer and get started and you can stare at my back while I do some dishes sound fun okay yeah okay so here's my kitchen that's uh, my sink the little orange thing is a, a flower pot that I put compost in um, that's my two burner stove so from there all the way over to underneath that gray coffee pot there I want to have that cleared off if I get this extra stuff cleared off um, added bonus uh, load the dishwasher so I've got some some dishes here I've got some dishes in the sink I've got stuff over here that I need to clean I've got some stuff on the um, the stove that I need to deal with and so that should more or less be a load uh, I'm going to set this down. Sorry. Okay. Um, I think that how I'm going to deal with doing the stuff that's on my list is uh, start with the thing that is the grossest. So that'll be get the sink cleared out, um, spray it down with soap, and get it all clean, like clean clean, like sparkling sink type clean. And then from there, I will focus on um, gathering things up and getting them ready to go into the dishwasher. Um, I'll obviously start with, since I want to clear this counter, I will fart, fart, start by getting the counter, um, dishes that are here on the counter put in, and then I will move to other places. If I've still got room, I'll move to other places and gather dishes until I've got a full load for there. Uh, and then the last thing would be to clear the sink to the stove, which is, you know, deal with all of my wood products, which I can't soak in the sink. Um, deal with empty bottles of like I got some rice wine stuff sitting here this bottle might be usable in the garden I don't know I that's one of the things that's kept me from throwing it away just yet but maybe not necessarily make those decisions but um, maybe you know rinse the vinegar out of it set it up so that it can dry out so that if uh, if I do decide to use it it'll be ready to go and I won't have to wait for it to be ready uh, let's see yeah so like that's the main thing so that's that's what will get done uh, so uh, timer what do you think it'll take probably I'll give myself five minutes to get the sink cleared out and to get it started cleaning. I'll go grab the the spray soap real quick and then we'll start the timer. got some method to use when we get to that point it smells really good it's a grapefruit one all the apologies okay set the timer don't just start set the timer what did I say five minutes ten minutes let's start with five minutes and see how much we can get done I don't have the right. All the apologies in the sun, in the sun. Never. Never. 
Oh my gosh, this bowl, I've put it through the dishwasher like three times and it's got this, got this gross ring on it. If it was plastic, I would have thrown it away, but it's metal, which means it can be resurrected. came with some uh, ramen soup type stuff. I think maybe I'll use them in the garden too. Like little plant markers maybe. Oh, it's all we are. straw here that's going to need some resurrecting. So let's put, oh no, it's too big for that. What can I do to soak something that's long? I don't know. I guess we'll set it in here for now. Taking me almost five minutes to get this one pan empty.
got a straw clearer. deal with all of the reusable straws like what is are people actually cleaning the inside of their straws all the time or are they like do they take the time to rinse it with water after each use to keep it from getting gross I don't know what do people do with their straws Using the light of the window to make sure that I can see down there. Oh my god, how long has it been since I used this thing? Now I gotta clean this thing too. See, that's what the... Digging myself out of the depression is basically... I'm catching up with basic cleaning. But once I get it done, it'll be easier to just carry on with things. So this thing is a uh, utensil drainer. So you put your utensils in it and there's a little drain here and it dribbles out its, its trunk. So you can set it next to the sink and have it dribble into the sink. Uh, I got it on Amazon uh, a bunch of years ago. I thought it was cute and I like it. So now it's clean. I can put my clean straw into it and be okay with that. Clean off my straw cleaner. Let's get that back in my little jar down there. Where are we at? Oh man, it's been almost another another ten minutes. Or another five minutes. Now I'm cleaning out a pot. This pot's been sitting in my sink for a long time. It's I don't even know if it was that dirty when I put it in there. It's pretty dirty now. So it sits in my sink and I throw all of my, uh, you know, forks and spoons and stuff in it. Or if I need to soak like a, a smaller plate or something, I throw that into it. And then I emptied out of there. So I guess it kind of works like you would a, a dish pan, but it's one of my cooking pots. Why didn't I got it in my sink? And then I'm looking at it going, oh, I could use that for whatever. It's like a double, it's a double bottomed really good one. So it's a really good pot. So I don't want to just like waste it having it sitting in the sink. Like it should be ready for me to use. soaking for a while. I'm sure I'm going to have to wash it again once I get a, a moment to. So it's not clean clean so I'm going to set it in my dirty dish rack there.
And then in my sink, I've got this little strainer. I got this from Amazon as well. Um, it it's like a whole. I don't know. I'll show you guys. Somehow tonight, only my darling. Okay. So there's the sink and it's like, it's deep. This thing goes into there. I don't know. I found it on Amazon. When I lived in Japan, the kitchen sink had a strainer like that and I liked it. Cause it does, it means that like normally you don't need a thing like this where it's just all of your kitchen goo sitting in the corner. Okay, so we'll spray that with cleaner as well. Hands washed so that I can move all the stuff out of the way. I don't really need this there right now. Got another one to get rid of too. This guy stinks. I guess I cooked fish in that last time. some wooden things, uh, knives that also don't go into the dishwasher. Keep the rules at the I'm not sure how my my metal chopsticks will fare in the dishwasher, so I'm just not going to test that. thing of doing it this way is that I'm going to get to see just how long things really do take. Some recycling. out. This is a, it's called a fin, I believe is what it is. It's a, I don't know, it's from, they call it a Vietnamese is a fin. 
and uh, it's a coffee making thing. In case anybody's ever had Vietnamese coffee, it's like really, really strong, really creamy, because they use, um, I believe, a, a chicory based uh, coffee. It's like you might get Nguyen or. Who is it that I've got right now? I've got, uh, yeah, I got Nguyen Premium. It's the coffee that I've got right now. But, uh, so it kind of works like a, um, a gravity espresso. So instead of using pressure to push the water through the grounds, uh, you just kind of let gravity do it. So you put some. You put coffee into it, right? And then there's like this little screw hole thingy here. Man, that's terrible light. Nope. Oh. There we go. There. So this thing's threaded here. And then this, uh, this other part. So you put coffee into it. Oops, sorry. Until it gets up to like nearing nearing the top of these threads. And then you put uh make sure that it's kind of spread out flat. Then you put uh this little thing in there. It goes in. You give it a couple screws so that it won't come loose. And then you gently pour water over the whole thing. And let it soak just you know like uh, maybe a, a quarter of an inch centimeter or so you let it soak and then just a little bit is gonna drip out of the bottom and once that happens you kind of double check that this is you know not super loose like it's not wobbling you check that this is not super loose it's not wobbling back and forth like this right where are we going oh this way but, um, yeah, and then you just fill it to the whatever level of coffee you need for whatever cup you're using. Then you just let it sit. It's, I don't know. It's a thing. Hi. Uh, okay. Wow, wasted a lot of time talking about stupid coffee making system. Not a stupid coffee making system, but you know, I could have been cleaning. This is kind of enlightening. Ooh. That's going to need to get cleaned out. I'll set that over here. That's going to need to get clean, but it needs more soaking. So now, everything out of the way. Oh, now the, the Mongolian metal band just came on. The who? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot. Uh, I should move this guy out of the way. This is uh, the hose that comes from this. Wow, that's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, got it into my armpits. Okay. Give it a spray down. Uh... Oops.
So I've got a, a really old, really grungy sponge that I save for cleaning the really dirty stuff. So like, uh, I'll use it for cleaning the oilier messes because I know I'm going to come back and probably clean it again anyway. Might as well just get my yuckiest sponge yucky. Especially with like all the food and greasy debris that's here, I'll have to come back clean it again. are getting unstuck pretty easily. That's good. this sounds like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, 30 more seconds. Yep, Honeybee by Stevie Ray Vaughan. So now the sponge is even grosser. Uh, so I guess that's kind of got it started. Let's do a, a look at what we've got now. So we've got the silverware has been put away. I obviously shifted some stuff over here around the kitchen sink. 
pretty shiny. I mean, it's like a, a quick done. I will uh, maybe use some polish in it later. And I got uh, most of the gunk on that area cleaned up. At least it's decluttered, which means cleaning it will be easier. And then I just have this stuff. There's a, a fair bit of bacon grease involved in that um, that black pot in the back. And then this pie pan looking thing, that's bacon grease as well. And then the orange thing, I cooked fish in it. I don't know. I might be able to rescue it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe some trisodium phosphate. So I'm going to end it here since this is like um, a 40 minute long video and uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, thanks for helping motivate me today. I, uh, I mean it's not, it's not done. It's definitely uh, manageable now. I have a little bit, I've got more space in the, in here that I can fill up. Um, once I deal with bacon grease, I could probably put those dishes in there. Anyway, um, things I learned, uh, it takes a lot longer to clear out my kitchen sink than I expected. Like, uh, sort of four times longer than I thought it might. Well, four times longer than I was hoping. So, note to self, um, give myself 30 minutes to do my dishes. Good to know. Thank you. Bye.